Hello everyone, Solomon here, and now I originally intended for this video to be the follow-up to fixing your terrible OCs. Sadly, you guys just kept sending me actually terrible OCs, and like the entire premise of the thing was I take actually good OCs and then ruin them, but then you guys just sent me terrible OCs, so it, it, it wasn't very haha -ha funny. So... Thankfully, I did actually find something to do. Now, a couple days ago on Twitter, there was a trend going around, and it basically was, you tweet out a picture saying, hey, let's make an OC together. And people would reply with, like, the class, the color, the railway of origin, and, um, you know, social security number. Basically, all the basic information to make an OC. And I thought, hey, this is my kind of stuff. So, of course, I did the most British thing I could do and capitalise on the opportunity. Now, we're going to go in order. Um, now, uh, I'll list the things we need to make this OC come alive. First, we'll have class, colour, railway, name, age, gender, personality, and a random fact. Hopefully, this shouldn't go too terribly. Now... For the class, which is the first bit of the OC, I have an absolute moron, Storm Lindsay123, or whatever his name is. Um, sucks being early and the E2 being the only class that I know. Now, this is a classic example of, if you don't know anything, shut up. Now, but of course, sadly, the circumstances are the ones that they are. So we're going to have to stick with, a note, with an E2 OC for the moment. So, so far we have an E2 OC, which is a pretty bad start. But hopefully it should get better. I count on you guys. I genuinely trust you. Alright, now for colour, we have a very unique colour. It's ROD Tan, basically the colour they gave to the engines who were under the ROC, the ROD during the war. Now this comes from a good friend of mine, Jacob, lovely fellow, you should follow him on Twitter. So yes, already tan it is. So already it's a pretty interesting looking E2, so yeah, things are starting to look up. Alright, so now we have an E2 in the ROD khaki livery, which is, you know, not bad so far, so hopefully the rest shouldn't be disappointing. So now we move on to Railway of Origin, and the Loco Lover has provided us with quite the interesting idea. This E2 would be from the L uh, the would be from the LSWR. Hmm. So maybe what would have happened is this locomotive was built for the LBSCR. Turns out the LBSCR didn't have any purpose for it, sold it to the LS... L, I always forget the name. The other Southern Railway. And it then was brought out by the ROD. So, yeah. Pretty interesting so far. Now we move on to the name. Which has been provided by Jaden Merlin the Roo. And he has provided... The name Obama Walter Dodge the second and he specifies that it all should be on a nameplate. Well I'm just going to do that, I'm going to put this on a nameplate. So yeah, there we go. I put it on a nameplate. So now before we continue we need to give this engine a face, which I'm terribly good at giving engine faces. So um, as we can tell, this is an engine who's in the military, so, as we all know, we have to do the standard operation when it comes to military engine, which is giving them a scary face with a massive scar, because, as we all know, they have been through a lot. So, of course... Now, of course, I've given this engine a scar, as we all know, it's standard procedure for military engines, but, uh, what if I took it a step further? What if I gave it two scars are all right now this this is an engine who has seized the horrors of war <laughs> Well 
Alright, so now we have a face we can finally move on. Now, it's about the age. And gloriously, Lightning McQueen has told us that the age of this locomotive is 69 years old. Alright, so we have a 69-year-old LBSCR E2 from the LSWR who's a veteran and who's 69 years old. Alright, great. And now we move on to gender, which comes from our good friend T. Stonks, who I've killed, but he just says he's on hiatus, he's actually dead. I've killed him with epic facts and logic after roasting his terrible OC. So now we move on to personality, and this is the part that I'm dreading the most. Alright, so you know the personality is going to suck when the guy who's providing it is called train boy number six billion. So, personality. He's tough and gruff, takes pride in his work, but he can be shown to have a soft side, especially towards squirrels. Yeah. So, we're just going to take the tough and gruff part. Alright, so now, we have what seems to be a genuinely neat OC. And then, um, we come to the random fact, which is, has a German accent. Hmm. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, after multiple minutes of thinking, I have devised the backstory for this engine. So, as we all know, um, let's just call him Obama. Obama was built for the LBSCR. Sadly, they didn't have any use for him, so they booted him out and sold him to the LSWR. Now, the war came and he was drafted and he was actually used as a spy against the Germans. Yes, th the British won the war because of him. He, he, he won the war, lads. So, after becoming a famous war, uh, famous war hero, he, he wrote a biography detailing his life and then was and then lived the rest of his life in a cottage in East Anglia. So of course this is an uh, this is a, an engine who has had a well-rounded life. So yeah, guys, we made it. We we made an OC that wasn't all that terrible. Kinda, but still, it's a lot better than Ligma. So thank you guys for watching. And remember, the most important thing is trying to keep your sanity. We make a team together. One, two, three. We go full steam together. Him, you, me. Best of friends forever.